Hey traders, Bob with CurrentsWaves.com. We're going to take a look at the Euro US dollar. As always, take the time to check out the risk disclaimer and check out, follow us on Twitter, check out our YouTube channel, and of course, check out CurrentsyWaves.com. Just a quick review of the weekly here with this count we're showing as the A B wave triangle looking for C wave down, which may or may not have started here. We have this label is one A B C two one looking for two down or two up, I'm sorry, and then three, four, and a five down for the C wave probably down around parity. Of course, then we have the just the W X looking for an A B C for Y, and this B wave may not be done. Uh, I good chance that we have a W or an A then a A B C up for X, and we'll see a C wave down and not break this low before I bounce back up to this channel line. But that's days and weeks ahead. Right now, I'm still going with the 1 ABC 2, 1, 2. Of course, we have the left shoulder, right shoulder head, and a neckline that was tested, broken earlier in the month, but held support here around 2760 before this possible wave two bounce. Looking at the four hour line chart with the awesome oscillator or Elliott wave oscillator, we have possible rising wedge going on here. So I'm looking at this is A, three waves down for B and we're working out of five waves up for the ending diagonal into the 618 extension of A. So right now we have the one, the two, working on the three. Yeah. And as you can see, I've already mentioned, there's lots of divergence here. Looking for that to continue. Uh, if we look at the four hour RSI chart here on MetaTrader, I do not use the RSI in Motive Wave. It just seems like it moves a lot faster. If you if you look at this last few moves here in July, compare it to these moves here, they're way out of whack. So I always use the uh, RSI in MetaTrader. But as you can see, we have divergence again with the last two highs and expecting that to continue right into resistance back uh, June being in June on this rally pull back stopped right here and then on the way back down this close was exactly the same as this low so maybe a little peak above it but Basically, that's what I'm looking for is for this rising wedge to complete before I move down, whether it's a start of a wave three or something else. I'm not sure. Something else to point out here on this rising wedge is the hidden divergent with this low on the RSI. It made a new low down here while the price made a higher low. So, I am, like I said, I'm watching for the divergence to continue, possibly on the hidden divergence as well as the negative divergence here. So, all right, if you like what you see, feel free to share it, pass it along, retweet it, throw it on Facebook, whatever. Thank you very much.